yeah, I got a, almost a five pound uh, rib roast. All right, I uh, got it seasoned up with some uh, gravy master on the outside, a little S and P, and some uh, pit barrel beef and game seasoning. I got my coals uh, heating up for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna get ready to throw this out on the pit barrel. Should take about two hours. I don't know, we got a temperature right now of about 27 degrees and it's uh, snowing out a little bit. All right, so let me get this on the pit barrel so I can eat. See you later. Okay, got my pit barrel ready, ready to go. Got some coals. Been heating up for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna throw them on the pit barrel. Let it go for maybe five minutes and I'm gonna hang the meat. Okay. Okay, got my coals on. Gonna let it go for another five minutes. Let some of the other coals catch. Then I'm gonna hang the meat. Just wanna let you know. I'm gonna let this go full throttle down below. And it's a little cool outside. We're in northern New Jersey. It's uh, doing a little snowing out here right now. Looking for about a two hour cook. Alright, I'm going to slap this uh, rib roast on. And it's going to be tasty. Check it out later. Okay. Got the meat hanging. Looking good. Give you a couple angles. Yeah. It's gonna be a tasty roast. Can't wait. Oh, by the way, it's Valentine's Day. Cooking this up for me and the honey. Later. Okay, pit barrel cooking, smoking away ready. Like I said, probably check on this in about, I don't know. I should check it in about an hour and a half. Take temp on it, just in case. I don't want to wait two hours and it'd be overdone. Plus I got the throttle open all the way down below. So, hopefully it's cooking at about 275. All right, later. Okay, pit barrel's been running for about an hour now. Gonna check on the, uh, the rib roast. Looking real good. Got that gravy master on there, giving it a nice color. It's gonna look dark when it's finished, but it's gonna be real, real nice. Let me snap a pick. All right, just checking temp on the, uh, the roast. Uh, it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, we're only about 83 degrees. Well, I thought it would have been a little bit more. Uh, cooker's running at about 300. Holding steady. So, I know. I'm thinking maybe an hour at the most. I'm gonna check it in about a half hour though. I keep getting my hand in the way. All right, yeah, it's snowing out here, Jersey. I'm just getting a little coating on the cars. It's nice, nice and quiet. Everybody's indoors. All right, 
See you later. Okay, got about two hours. Rib roast out on the uh, pit barrel cooker. Uh, I'm gonna take the temp, see where we're at. Okay, let the smoke clear a little bit. Oh boy, we're at 132. I'm climbing, I gotta pull this. Okay, there's the rib roast. Uh, kinda got away from me on the pit barrel cooker. Uh, was on there at least two hours and I uh, shot past my uh, my done point. Uh, if I had pulled it off somewhere around 137. Wanted to pull it off at 130 the most. 125 actually. I want a finish temp of about 130. Oh well, I'm sure it's still going to be good. Let me cut into this and let's eat. Hey, what up? I don't think I should. Oh, just cut the uh, rib bones off. Doesn't look too bad from here. Let me slice into the, uh, the main part, the eye. And we'll see how it came out. Alright. Actually, looks perfect. I don't know, maybe where my... Uh, thermometer was it was on a hot spot but that looks perfect to me let's eat let me plate it show you a plate and then uh, I'm gonna eat later actually it looks perfect all the way through juicy tasty unbelievable well there it is looks like a good plate to me like I said, I thought I lost it. I thought it was overdone, but it looks perfect. That's medium rare to me. All right, let's sit down and enjoy Valentine's Day or a roast with the family. Don't worry, you're not in it, Charlie. Okay. See you later.